Earth missile is of the FATA-110 family, but in terms of physical dimensions, it is less than half of the FATA-110. So, given the 8.8 meters length and 61 centimeters diameter of the latter, the former's length, diameter, and weight are about 4 meters, 30 centimeters, and 851,100 kilograms, respectively, with a firing range of 80 to 100 kilometers. Due to the light weight of the missile, it is possible to install more of them on the truck, carrier, and launcher. Due to the fact that this missile has control fins on its nose, it is definitely of the precision-guided type, approaching the end of the target's route. FATA missile has higher speed, greater accuracy, warhead detachment capability, and generally lower radar cross-sections in comparison to FATA 110. FAT's solid fuel missile is also fired from inside a canister. It is the first time such an Iranian ballistic missile is fired from such a launcher. The missile has already been delivered to the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps (IRGC) Navy and Ground Forces. There are three types of launchers designed for FAT and IRGC Ground Force, a six-canister launcher, a camouflaged rail launcher with two or four missiles. The latter has made operating mass fire with high accuracy feasible for the ground force, making the force somewhat independent from the IRGC aerospace missile systems in tactical missions. With the deliverance of FATH ballistic missile to the IRGC combat organization, it seems that the mission of accurate short-range attacks, especially the suppression of enemies' anti-missile systems, is gradually being handed over to the IRGC ground force, and the destruction of targets on longer distances assigned to the IRGC aerospace force. As the goal of the ever-increasing development of the FATA-110 was to counter new U.S. threats in the Middle East, and the U.S. Navy was a potential threat to Iran, more accurate missiles were designed to face the U.S. naval vessels in the Persian Gulf. The first version was a missile called Kalajifars, Persian Gulf. It was adopted by the Iranian military in 2008. The Kalajifars had exactly the same specifications as the improved FATA-110. It had a range of 300 kilometers and a warhead of around 500 kilograms. The difference was that the Kala GFARS missile had much more advanced guidance system. It was equipped with an electro-optical system to attack the ships so that it could track and lock on them in the final phase of the attack. Thanks to this electro-optical system, the SEP of this version was reduced to 5 to 8 meters. A few years later, a second anti-ship version of the FATA-110 family was unveiled. The Hormuz missile was named in a reference to the Strait of Hormuz. It was adopted in 2012. Unlike the Kalaji Fars, it uses a passive radar seeker to intercept ships. The system is mounted on the top of the missile which tracks and locks on the radar waves emitted, thereby hitting the radar on the ship, which is usually located on the ship command bridge. Considering this, it can be said that Hormuz is in fact the anti-radar version of the FATA-110 missile and can be used against any type of shipborne or land-based radars. Although the launcher vehicles can carry missiles in traveling order on their launch rails, there is also a type of road carrier for missiles which is completely covered. This carrier has a form of a road trailer with a container and escorts the launcher vehicles. The FATA-110 series missile are commonly carried inside this container to their launch position. Currently Iran and Syria are the only official operators of the FATA-110 series missiles. Syrian missiles are based on 8x8 truck chassis. According to various sources, including Israeli ones, Hezbollah formations in Lebanon also operate these missiles. Though it is not clear which version, or how many they have, but any version of the missile, can cover almost all of Israel's territory. 
There is also a modified missile based on FATA 110 design which was publicly unveiled on 9 February 2020. The RAD 500, Thunder 500, is claimed to be the fastest, lightest, and cheapest version of the family. The missile is made of composite materials from top to the bottom and uses a Zahir engine, which is also the first Iranian engine made of composite materials. After the success of FATA 110, the Iran began to development of another solid fuel missile, based on it. This led to the creation of the second generation of this missile. The FATA 313 was the first missile in the second generation. It was first unveiled in 2015. It was an upgraded version of the FATA 110. It had a detachable warhead and could reach targets at a range of 500 kilometers range. 